This is one of the most expensive battery packs I've tested. Beyond its looks, is it any good? We're gonna find out. Now to find out what this year's best G2 wireless battery pack is, I bought 20 plus of them, tortured the USB-C port, melted my iPhone by doing wireless charging sprints, reviewer, not influencer, and also I had to figure out how to do some coding in order to drain the packs in iPhone consistently. This is a 10,000 milliamp hour battery pack, or 38.7 watt hours according to Native Union. Now Native Union as a brand is very good at making things fancy, but they're not very good at marketing fluff like G2 and wireless charging. These two are the same thing. And they claim with this battery pack, you can charge your iPhone twice. This is bull crap, especially if you're doing it wirelessly. This product only has one USB-C port and there's a set of indicator lights at the bottom. This thing is a little brutal in terms of uh, charging outputs. It only has two PDOs and no PPS charging protocols. When it comes to accuracy and stability for the PDOs, it's decent at 93%. Let's talk about a uh, real world capacity. In my testing, I managed to pull 27 watt hours from the pack, but I could only do it at the five volt rate. This thing claims to output 20 watts. It barely did in my testing. Now, when it came to uh, recharge testing, it took about 44 watt hours to fill the bank, but it took 3.5 hours, which is brutal. So for every 27 watt hours we get out of this battery pack, we have to put 44, which is an efficiency rate of 61%. I'm still in the process of testing a bunch of wireless uh, battery packs, and I don't know if 61% is a good value or bad value. I do know that when I compare it against the normal battery pack, that is a very low value. When it came to wireless charging, it gave my iPhone a charge of 18% in 30 minutes or 2.5 watt hours, but it took the bank 3.2 watt hours to do so. That's actually a pretty good efficiency rate, 78%. Remember the last battery pack I tested? This U-Green thing, this was only at 70 and I thought it was pretty good, 78 is spectacular. In fact, the efficiency for this product is almost double the next product that I'm gonna be testing. This thing is from EcoFlow. Now when it came to thermals, during discharging, this thing topped off at 40 degrees. And when it came to wireless charging, it topped off at 48.2 degrees. That 40 degrees is the limit for this product. Once it hits 40, it's gonna drop from nine volts to five, nine to five. Now, one of the reasons why I like this product is the finish. It's got some leather down here, a bit of fabric right here, and the edges are metallic. So this is a premium looking feeling G2 wireless pack. In terms of magnetic strength, it takes 12.4 newtons to push the pack off and a whopping 38 newtons to pull it off. That is way above average. This is one of the strongest battery packs in my test group. Like I feel very confident doing this with uh, holding onto the phone. I will say it is borderline tough to take this pack off if you're using a uh, normal sized phone, but that's a good problem to have. Now in terms of price and value, this thing's gonna set you back 90 freaking dollars. You're paying a premium price for a premium finished product with slightly better wireless charging capabilities. So would I get it if I wasn't a reviewer? Maybe if I had the cash to spend, it looks very nice. It's gonna stay on your iPhone very well. As a Qi 2 battery pack, it performs decently, but as anything else, no. I'm on a mission to figure out what the best G2 wireless battery pack is. This is number five out of 20 that I've tested. I've started to get some averages, so I'm starting to figure out which one's good or bad. If this one does make it in the top five, make sure you use my links. I'm a reviewer, not an influencer. They're not paying me to make this video. Nobody pays me to make any of the videos. I get paid through any sort of affiliate commissions that uh, you guys help me get. Uh, thanks for watching.